Hey everyone, Anthony from Pretty Printed here. So in today's video, I want to talk about JavaScript hoisting, JavaScript variable hoisting and function hoisting. Um, so before I get into what hoisting is, let me explain why I'm making this video. So a few weeks ago, I was um, asked to interview someone for a JavaScript position at my job, and I wasn't the only interviewer. I had a couple of other people um, interviewing with me, um, interviewing a particular candidate. And one of the other interviewers asked about JavaScript hoisting, and I was confused. And I was confused because I had never heard of it. Now, luckily, the candidate had heard of it, and he was able to answer the question, but I, one of the interviewers, hadn't heard of it. So if I were in the interviewee position, I wouldn't have been able to answer that question. So JavaScript hoisting, um, I think it's a bit of JavaScript trivia. In most cases, you probably would never run into um, any problems that it could cause, or you've experienced it in a way indirectly. So this video is to explain what JavaScript hoisting is and how it could affect you when you're writing JavaScript code. So basically JavaScript hoisting is the way JavaScript handles variables and function declarations inside of a particular scope. This can be the global scope or it can be a local scope within a function. So basically what hoisting means is it moves all variable declarations to the very top of the scope and then after that it executes everything else so to make this more clear I'll show you I have the site REPL it up right now and I'm going to open a JavaScript REPL and I'm going to use this uh, left hand side here to write some code and then I'm going to run it in the um, REPL over here so the very first thing I want to do is I want to create a local scope uh, I could use the global scope, but I think it's uh, more clear if I use um, a function. So I'll just call this function local scope. Um, it's only going to be used for um, demonstration purposes. All right, so I have this function here. So the very first thing I want to do is just a console.log. So I'll do console.log, and I'm going to use a variable called um, log this. So I want to console.log the variable called log this. So let me run this. And if I run the function local scope, I get a reference error saying log this is not defined. OK, that's expected because I never declared this variable. I never initialized it. So let me do that. So var log this equals hello. I'll just do that. Whoops, mouse slipped. Didn't want to do that. OK, so I'll run this again, and I'll run local scope again. And now we see hello. This is all expected. This is very basic stuff. So what if I did this? What if I took this var log this, and then I put it below the console.log? What is going to happen now? So remember in the first um, one, I did console.log this, and there was a reference error because I didn't declare log this. Well, in this case, I'm going to declare, but I'm going to declare it after the console.log. So I should get a reference error, right? Let's run it and see. So local scope, and I get undefined. Well, why don't I get a reference error? The reason why I don't get a reference error is because of JavaScript hoisting. So what hoisting does is it takes all the declarations of a variable inside of a particular scope and it moves them to the top before it starts executing. So this var log this equals hello is actually equivalent to this. Let me take out the var log this and then do var log this uh, without initializing it, just declaring it. And let me run it, local scope, and I get the same thing. So the example before where I declared and initialized log this at the same time is actually equivalent to this where var log this is at the top and then it's initialized down below. So if I move log this equals hello up here and run it, hello works. 
So the reason why this can be a little tricky is because if you're writing some code for JavaScript and um, you accidentally declared a variable after it's used, then that variable is going to be undefined when it's used. But we all know that undefined <clears throat> doesn't throw any errors. Um, a reference error will throw an error and will stop your script from executing. And it's easy to find out what the problem is. But if a variable is just undefined, well, that's that's not really an exceptional thing in JavaScript. So the script will continue to execute, and it may take you a little longer to debug um, whatever problem that you have because of this variable being undefined. So to get around this is very simple. Just move all of your declarations and all of your initializations to the top. Now, there's the idea of keeping your initialization initializations close to where you're going to use them, and that's true. So you just want to make sure that you initialize all your variables above um, the point that they're actually going to be used. And of course, you probably already knew this, but in JavaScript, you have to be a little extra careful because if you don't, then um, it would be difficult to find out what the issue is. So. Um, that's with variables, and it's the same thing with functions. So I'll declare a function in here. Function um, hoisted, and I'll say, whoops, not a p. Um, Console.log. This is the hoisted function. Now this example you've probably already known. Uh, you just didn't realize it. But whenever you declare a function, all the function declarations are moved to the top of the scope, which means you can use a function before it's declared. So if I do hoisted the function call, let me run this and do local scope. It says hello and it says this is the hoisted function because in a sense it took this function and it moved it all the way to the top. So like I said, you're probably familiar with this. You've probably had scripts where you have multiple functions in the scripts and one function will reference another function that's declared below it. And that's fine because JavaScript will move all the function declarations to the top. And then after all the function declarations have been run at the top, then it will start to execute the program uh, normally. So with function declarations moved to the top, there's really no gotcha there. It's just something you can know. So that's pretty much it for JavaScript hoisting. Um, I think it's a pretty simple concept. It's not something that you have to know, but it's nice to know that this is one of the gotchas that JavaScript has. So just make sure all your function or all your variable declarations are at the top above where they're actually used, and you won't have any problems doing this. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about hoisting, uh, just let me know in the comments below. If you have any requests for videos, you can also let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. So thanks for watching this video. Um, I will make another video very soon. Probably the next video will be on JavaScript. So um, look out for that one. And thanks for watching again.